Beth from the Chambers Rescue Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fun recipe in the Thermowell. It's a timbalo or a timbal, depending on how you pronounce it. A timbal is a type of drum, and when you unmold this dish, you'll see why it has the double meaning. First, I'm going to show you how I make it, but you can customize the recipe to your taste. So at the end, I'm going to tell you some different ideas of how you can make it your own. We start this recipe in a ramekin and we're going to spray it with vegetable oil spray. The base of this recipe is a starchy grain. I cooked arborio rice, which is the same rice that you use for a risotto. I cooked a half a cup of arborio rice and two cups of water. You can actually cook the rice in your thermo well and you can refer to the recipe in your Idle Hour cookbook. Once the rice was cooked, I added in some chopped fresh arugula and stirred it in while the rice was hot so it would wilt. And then I added a little bit of salt and a quarter cup of tomato sauce. I have some chopped vegetables here. I have zucchini and onions and a little fresh basil in it. It's about two tablespoons of vegetables. I have some chopped mozzarella cheese, and then I have some pretty things from my garden for garnish and some extra tomato sauce for the plate. I'm going to show you now how to put this piece together. I'm going to start with the ramekin, and you're going to want to spray it or grease it in some way, including both the bottom and the sides, because when you unmold it, you don't want anything to stick. So I'm using more spray than I normally would in a recipe. Now I cooked more risotto than I needed for this one ramekin. I cooked enough for two, but I'm gonna be baking one in my thermo well today. We're gonna put a couple of spoonfuls of the risotto in and pack it down because the idea is all of these ingredients are gonna to stick together and when you unmold it, it's gonna be a pretty layered little drum. So I put my risotto in. Now I'm going to add my vegetables. When you unmold mold it, you'll see the layers of vegetables and cheese. veggies and I'm going to add my layer of cheese. That's also, it's about a tablespoon and a half of cheese. You can adjust it depending on your tastes. Now I'm going to take some more risotto and I'm going to pack it in on the top and really push it down there so that everything will stick together. Now I'm going to preheat my thermo well for five minutes. As it's preheating, let's talk about ways you can customize this recipe. You can use any kind of starchy grain. I chose arborio rice. You might like bulgur or pastina or um, orzo, anything that ends up with a kind of a sticky texture that will hold the mold, molded piece together. Um, your vegetables can be any chopped vegetables that are sauteed. If you're a meat eater, you can add a little bit of finely chopped meat in that. Um, I chose zucchini and carrots. You might want some mushrooms or eggplant or red pepper, um, whatever, whatever veggies and mix of herbs you like. The cheese can be any kind of melty cheese. And the reason is that the cheese will help bind the layers together. And finally, you can have some sauce, doesn't have to be tomato sauce, it could be pesto or any kind of sauce you like, mixed in with the rice and also a little for the plate when you present it. And as I said, I chose some pretty garnishes from my garden. I chose some little cherry tomatoes and some purple basil. You can have any kind of garnish you want. My five minutes of preheating are up, it's time to put it in.
heat on for 15 minutes. I was curious about the temperature of the thermo well, so I stuck the thermometer in it and I saw that after five minutes of preheating, it gets to 275 degrees, and after 15 minutes with the heat on, it's 500 degrees. Then when you cooked it with the heat off for half an hour, it goes down to 325. Your thermo well temperature might be a little bit different depending on how it's calibrated, but you'll know that regardless of your temperature fluctuations, this recipe is gonna work perfectly in your thermo well. It's been cooking with the heat off for half an hour and now it's time to unveil it. That looks so beautiful and delicious. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes to cool off to make it easier to unmold. The timbal has had time to cool and now it's time to plate and unmold it. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of sauce in a circle on the plate. Next I'm going to run a knife around the edges to make sure it doesn't stick when I turn it upside down. I'm going to finish it off with these pretty garnishes. Ta-da! It's, it's great that something that looks and sounds so fancy is so easy in the Thermowell. I'll be back with more recipes for the Thermowell soon. Buon appetito!